If you've seen our video on plastic taper tools, you know that to cut different size shafts, you need to buy a separate tool for each size. This one, the Deluxe taper tool, has got three different collets which push in to the end of the tool and you can get 5 16th, 11 32nd and 23 64. So you've got three different size collets which will fit three different size shafts. So one tool fits all. I'm going to demonstrate it with a 5 16th collet and a 5 16th shaft. So that's the 5 16th collet there. Got 5 16th written on the side of it so you can't go wrong. Like the plastic tool, there are two blades, one at a steep angle to do the plastic knock and one at a shallow angle which cuts a longer taper for the uh, brass piles. So you push firmly in. This is the uh, pile end I'm doing at the moment. So shaft goes in, we start turning, it cuts very very fine shaving off and you keep turning until it doesn't do any more. It won't keep cutting the shaft until there's nothing left. It will revolve now and that's that's finished. So that actually cuts, appears to cut a quite longer taper than the plastic tool. If you've used the plastic tool you might find that the taper is a little bit on the short side. Well, We've done a separate video to show you how you can overcome that but this seems to cut a reasonable length so that fits on there and then again glue that on with a two-part epoxy uh, cleaning out the pile with some meths or something to get rid of any machine oil that's in it uh, which we could stop it adhering and again with a rasp it's well worth just scoring the end so that when you push the pile on with the glue in it it doesn't force all the glue out and you've got some glue still in there to adhere so that's that the other blade the shorter blade or the blade rather that is more acute angle cuts a shorter taper that one is for the knock end and we put the tool make sure you use the 5 16th again push that in the other end of the tool firmly in put the shaft in having obviously cut the shaft to the correct length turn that one and that will cut another taper but a much shorter taper to fit the plastic knock. I won't turn any more so it must be finished. That fits on there just like that. When you have put the knock on before you've glued it on eye down the shaft to make sure that as you look at it the spears of the grain are running away from you. So imagine the arrow is in the bow when you look down the length of the arrow you should see those spears of grain running away from you and that's the correct way that the uh, knock should be put onto the arrow.